I'm Dr. Melissa Moss and I know biomedical engineering. Biomedical engineering is a field that combines mathematics with basic sciences, including chemistry, physics, and especially biology to lead to medical advancements. Advancements that biomedical engineers have contributed to include prosthetic limbs, orthopedic surgery, and the laser vision correction procedure. Biomedical engineers use mathematical models and quantitative measurements to be able to understand biological processes and therefore improve medical treatments or medical devices. For example, my biomedical engineering research studies Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease is linked to the deposition of protein aggregates in the brain. This the protein that forms these aggregates is released normally in the brain, but when it aggregates, it leads to detrimental properties that can affect neuronal cells, leading to their dysfunction and death. Currently, it is unknown exactly how these protein aggregates are the cause of Alzheimer's disease, but there are several lines of evidence that lead us to believe that they are, in fact, an important part in the disease progression. The particular protein, the amyloid beta protein associated with Alzheimer's disease, is found in everybody's body. However, in a subset of patients with Alzheimer's disease, that protein is associated with a number of genetic mutations that lead to an early onset of the disease. In addition, studies uh, in the lab have found that protein in its monomeric single protein form uh, is not detrimental to cells, whereas when cells are treated with aggregated forms of the protein, toxicity of neurons ensues, as well as other cell types. In our research, we use engineering techniques to understand more about how this protein forms its aggregates. For example, we use light scattering, which is an engineering technique traditionally used to study polymer formation. And we use this technique to learn about the size and shape of the aggregates that are formed by the protein. We also use a quartz crystal microbalance, traditionally used in engineering to study gas deposition and therefore capable of measuring very small changes in mass. Using the combination of these techniques, we've been able to model the way in which the protein aggregates form to understand more about that process and hopefully understand ways that we can slow or prevent the aggregation process and therefore slow or prevent the onset of Alzheimer's disease.